But getting off, getting over to Diddy, it, it, it's too many allegations right now coming against Diddy. And I think, because right now I think believe Diddy's in London. I believe when Diddy come back, they're going to be handing him an indictment. I don't know how long it would take for them to build an indictment, but I believe they building one, right? I believe that um, the contributions of like G, Mark Curry, uh, what's this other guy name? Roger Bond, who really ain't say much as of yet, but you know the, the the history of Diddy and everything, along with these girls, you know, these allegations against with Kim Porter. I believe that at this point, looking at the R. Kelly case, if they put out a, a fucking surviving Diddy like they did. If you see Surviving R. Kelly got a grand jury and Homeland Security to put out an indictment and a start a grand jury and put out an indictment on R. Kelly, which got him 30 years, you got to know for a fact that Diddy is facing the same but worse treatment. R. Kelly ain't have the drug in his... Uh, in his uh what you call it in his case he wasn't it wasn't uh uh more than one allegation of drugging somebody and raping somebody in r kelly's case but the the fact that it was multiple women hello Being the fact that it was multiple uh, women in, involved in his case, and so many women testify, a lot of them wasn't credible. I say seventy-five percent of them had some uh, uh, gave you doubt in their story, right? In Diddy's case, he got Cassie. He got Cassie's friend. He got the girl, the the young girl from Detroit. He got. Uh, the other two women. And then you got uh, the cases in the past, Lorianne Gibson, that he allegedly, well, I don't even know if I got to say allegedly, but I'm going to say allegedly. Allegedly, him and Michael Bivens beat up uh, Lorianne Gibson, the choreographer, during making of the band. Um, you got allegedly Capricorn, that he beat up allegedly and Interscope paid her off. So you got Capricorn, you got, oh, and then let's not forget Kim Porter, who, who's who been physically, allegedly physically assaulted by Diddy. So you got Kim Porter allegedly assaulted by Diddy. You got the story where Gene talk about Misa was got beat under a car, allegedly, right? That's two. You got uh, Cassie, kicked all in the face and allegedly and, and you know sex trafficking sex orgies or threesomes or whatever whatever you know you got uh capricorn that's four you got um you got uh uh, uh cassie's friend who's now pressing charges uh civilly that's five. You got the three women that, that came out, the Detroit girl, the two other girls, right? That's eight women right now that he got alleged physical, sexual, drug drugging allegations against him. That's enough right there for a grand jury because it has to be three or more, right? For them to indict him to start the grand jury. He already got three girls that I know that would probably definitely go to the grand jury and testify, right? 
out of those eight people, then is the ones that we don't know about, right? So they got enough people to start a, a grand jury because it's three or more people that have civilly came out and, and made these claims against them, right? And then we're talking about trafficking, which they could pull a man act and, and put a, a and create a RICO law. Then you got co-conspirators. Ale excuse me. You got alleged co-conspirators. You got Harv Pierre who's been sued and, and said that uh, who women got allegations against him. And you got several allegations against Harv because you got two women. If another one come against Al uh, Hoff, he got a RICO of three or more people that they could start a grand jury on. And then any of these people that uh, could testify to Hoff's character, like a Gene Dale or a Mark Curry or a Roger Barnes or a James Cruz or anybody that's been, you know, uh, or the girl Aubrey from Danny D. Kane. She's another one. She may, uh, that'll be nine people. You know what I'm saying? So that triples what a grand, what a, a grand jury could get started, right? And like I said, it ain't no telling if any men come forth, you don't know what who could come forth, right? Excuse me, I ain't want to y'all to see me spit. So, right, so now with, with all these uh, people that could play witnesses to his character or can testify in the grand jury, you, you got that. So, like I said, with, and then you, you got other co-conspirators. Even though I know uh, Mark Curry and Gene and uh, Roger Bond may not feel like they did anything wrong, you know, and you know, Gene's my man, so I ain't wishing no bad on him. I'm gonna knock on wood for him. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> this way. You gotta come right there. There you go. Right there. So, um, if, if they, they go and do a Rico, what they, they may do is, they might lock them all up. You know, Mark Curry made a statement that wasn't smart at all. And I know he tried to come around and clean it up. But the fact that 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 bottle and the spike bottles and Gene now talking about the spike uh, drinks and the crafts, the, the cranberry and the orange juice, like saying that you you are aware that this was a thing, saying that you are aware that they was doing this, and you was a part of the label or the team or security or whatever. I, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because the fact that they said it, not that they was involved, but the fact that they was present and they knew about it, they will charge them and tell them, yo, well, you said over here on the interview that you knew about it. Now, either you're going to get on this test on this stand and testify against Sean Combs, or we charging you too. So what you think they're going to do? They already out here throwing him under the bus, right? So all they're going to do is hold him down until the goddamn bus come if they get indicted. You can't say that you knew about these bottles. You can't say that you was warned not to touch those bottles because those was the bottles that get the girl slippery according to him, whatever slippery means. You know, I guess. <laughs> hey, daddy. Right? Me, I don't want an unconscious coochie. That's creepy. 
right? But the fact that they was aware of the shit, and then y'all need to stop this bullshit. Talking about, yo, that was the culture. 